Y'all, I've been struggling so much. I have gained two pounds. I haven't lost anything. And I think I have not been consistent for more than three days in a row. Let's talk about it and how I'm gonna try to get back on track. Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. We're the Car Work Couple. I'm Pat. And I'm Caitlin. And I have really been struggling on this carnivore diet journey. And I know, I don't even know if I should call it our carnivore diet journey because <laughs> yeah. I am definitely more ketovore. I require variety and I mainly just eat meat with greens. Yeah. That is my happy place. And that is how I have lost 60 pounds in the last seven months. However, I will say that almost all of that 60 pounds was lost within the first five months. Mm -hmm. These last two months on my ketovore journey, I have been really struggling to stay consistent. And I had gone off to a girl's trip in Chicago and it is really tricky to stay consistent on whatever kind of eating plan you're doing when you're out and about and doing things, let alone yeah. surrounded by Chicago deep dish pizza. So <laughs> <laughs> when I got back from yeah. that trip, I was kind of talking with you about mm -hmm. like, okay, I need to reset. How am I going to get back on track? And I kind of made a challenge for myself. Okay, I'm going to try to be very consistent with eating my meat and greens for just 45 days. We even like set up like a, a, reward. a reward for 45 <laughs> days, right? Like, and yeah. It did not work. Mm -hmm. I don't think I was able to stay consistent for more than three days. And it comes down to my own mindset surrounding food, my lack of discipline with what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And you were asking me today when we were at the park with our son, you were like, how many days in a row have you been consistent? And you said maybe three. Maybe three. And so I've just been really struggling to get back on track. And maybe you are in the same place where maybe you've lost a good amount of weight, but then now you're struggling. Or maybe you've just gotten started and mm -hmm. you're a weekend or even a few days in and you're trying and you're struggling. I know my mom struggles with this too. Oh. I mean, four days in a row of consistency for her is deal. awesome. Yeah. You know, and so I think that there's lots of people who struggle with consistency, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that we can't improve. And I was recently scrolling on YouTube and I came across a community post from Dr. Barry mm -hmm. and he's just so encouraging. And one of the things he wrote really stood out to me, just because you fell off plan does not make you a failure. It's not an indication of uh, you yeah. as a person mm -hmm. failing. It's an indication of how powerful your addiction to food is. And I gotta tell y'all, I really did feel like a failure. Mm -hmm. We sit here and we record videos. We're trying to encourage you, but I'm sitting here like, I really need encouragement. How am I supposed to be encouraging when I feel like I'm just failure. completely failing? And honestly, we just finished filming Patrick's yeah. video, which yeah. he's doing awesome. Yeah. He's lost 82 pounds, y'all. But I'm <laughs> sitting here like, I feel like a horrible hypocrite because I haven't gone three days without eating something I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to encourage people when I am not even being consistent myself? Yeah. And addiction is, is it's food addiction is, is a real thing. Like it's... Carbs and sugar and seed oils are highly addictive, mm -hmm. um, both physically and mentally. And I saw a study where it said sugar is more addictive than like cocaine. Mm -hmm. So it's a real thing, and it's it's something that people struggle with and probably mm -hmm. will struggle with the rest of their lives. Yeah. Um, I've been lucky to be able to conquer it for the most part, and I still have cravings like everyone else. Mm -hmm. But so, it's some some people are everyone's different. Just remember that on those times when you're feeling like you're a failure mm -hmm. and and that just leads you into a path of more cheating. Yeah. Just go back, re restart, reset, and, yeah. and remember, say, you know, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. Am I doing this because outside of myself, is it for my family? Is it for my children? Is it for mm -hmm. my grandchildren? Is it for because I have these health issues? Like, do I have type 2 by diabetes? Do I have mm -hmm. heart disease? Do I need to fix things, you know, physically? And remember why you're doing this and take it one day at a time because yeah. if you have a lot of weight to lose, it's going to take time. And day by day, you need, you need to remember, here's, here's my meal plan, here's what I'm eating, and don't waver from that mm -hmm. day by day. And for me, what really helped, honestly, was seeing Patrick's amazing progress. 
He has yet to publicly display these, <laughs> but I am encouraging he he should. So One day. <laughs> if you think he should, just type in the comments shirtless pick, please. That sounds really bad. <laughs> but anyways, Patrick has these before and after pictures of him shirtless in our bathroom, and he was showing me his update pictures, and he looks like a completely different person. Yeah. And that was so motivating to me how you have been so consistent mm -hmm. and so you know watch people like patrick don't watch people <laughs> like me <laughs> but i will say i don't think i'm the only person that is really struggling mm -hmm. with the food addiction with being inconsistent with the goals that they have set for themselves but i just want to encourage you if you are that person like even within this inconsistency, I have still maintained a weight loss of 60 pounds the last seven months, which is amazing. Yeah. It's been a struggle, but if I can do it, you totally, totally can do it. I'm sure mm -hmm. you are way capable of doing this if I can do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just so yeah. bad at this. But I will say that it is time for myself to reset and so one of the ways I'm going to reset is I'm going to give myself a challenge for the next three months and I would love for you to join me on this challenge especially if you are finding that you've been inconsistent or maybe you are just starting a carnivore diet journey or maybe you're more keto or like me let's start together the next three months October November December and we're gonna call it Finish the year strong and stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So lots of the times we think about let's start the year strong. Mm -hmm. Let's finish strong. And I feel like we've started the year strong and then somewhere along the way I've totally messed up. And mm -hmm. now it's time for me to reset mentally, get back to the basics, and to finish strong. And so I would just encourage you the next three months, no matter where you are, how many days you've been consistent in a row or not consistent, if you're yeah. like me, let's try to finish strong and just have that idea in our head. I'm going to say no to that thing over there because I want to finish my year strong. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for that walk in the morning because I want to finish strong. I'm going to meal plan this week and meal prep because I want to finish this year strong. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make sure that I take away all the temptations that are around me and make sure that I finish strong. And I think y'all can finish strong with me. I appreciate everyone along this journey encouraging us as we encourage you. Mm -hmm. And be sure to drop a comment. Maybe like this video if you've enjoyed it. Shirtless pics, and please. <laughs> and thank you for everyone for um, being letting Caitlin be vulnerable and be mm -hmm. honest yeah. because it's hard to, to really just open up to our audience sometimes and then be truthful with you especially when it's not a positive result i think exactly because yeah. a lot of times people want to see those positive results and mm -hmm. sometimes they're not always positive that's not reality yeah yeah um we appreciate everyone again and we'll see you all next time stay strong <laughs>